Welcome. Good afternoon. My name is Mick McManus. I am a present-day shaman, and I am excited and thrilled to be associated with uh, SeeMyBeach.com. We have uh, quite a few similarities in our philosophies and ideas about connecting with uh, the elements of life, and it's going to work real well doing the show with uh, SeeMyBeach.com. Uh, first, I'd like to explain a little about what I consider to be a present-day shaman. And it's very basically simple that a sh uh, present-day shaman is someone who goes to the causal level, the truth. I'm a seeker of the truth. Uh, what we've been led to believe uh, for eons has been a progression of non-truth. And meaning in the sense that they didn't know any better. I mean, it wasn't that long ago they just thought this planet was flat and everybody lived their lives accordingly. The shaman is someone who sees what is there without perception of influencing the past or projection into the future. It's actually seeing what is present. And that's why I call it a present day shaman. Uh, and, it, and it's been a progression in consciousness which is what is happening and what it's all about. Consciousness has accepted itself enough at this point to see what is. And we've been doing that on a progression for eons. For example, uh, 25 years ago, I was I considered myself to be a shaman, and that was uh, considered to be a natural healer. Now, uh, about 10 years ago, consciousness accepted itself enough to be realized that healing implies something is broke or something is, needs to be fixed, and that, uh, that was, as we're aware now, is not the truth. For example, uh, when uh, and there's another one I'm talking about the truth. In other words, we, they credited Henry Ford with inventing the car, which we know is certainly not true, but we give him the credit for it. So I'm saying, like, when he invented the car and he put, let's put four wheels on his machine and send it down the road. And it went down the road and it was wobbling to the left, to the right, and they said, this isn't going to work very well, it's, and the tires are going to wear out. Now, they didn't scrap it and say something's broke or something's wrong. No, they said, let's just align the wheels. They aligned the wheels and it went to what we have today. Obviously, we progressed a little more than that, but that's, that's the premise. There is nothing broke, there is nothing wrong, there is nothing that needs to be healed. What I do is see the truth of what is, connecting with all elements in nature, and adjusting the body and aligning the body to being present in the moment. We are simultaneous multidimensional beings. I've been aware for a while now that we reside, as, as at this point, we're aware that there are four bodies. The spiritual body, the mental body, the emotional body, and the physical body. And when I say simultaneously, we're experiencing all that. I'm not just standing here physically, you're experiencing my mental process, my emotional process, as well as my spiritual process simultaneous. And people sometimes have a little bit of misunderstanding about what simultaneous multi-dimensional being. Uh, that's a mouthful uh, and it's a mindful and basically it's quite like everything else. It's really simple when you get to the truth. It's very simple. For example, if we had a TV sitting right here next to me and uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, we turn on the TV and if it's on cable, which mostly everything is now, you've got a hundred channels to select. So that means there is a hundred studios broadcasting from a hundred different locations simultaneously at one o'clock. If you were tuned and to the vibrational frequency, well nowadays it's just the, the, the bleeper there or the bleeper to hook up to the channel you would like, you desire, and you would see a drama. And if you change the frequency of that, it would go to a sports show or whatever. But they are broadcasting simultaneously from a hundred different locations and what you see is the frequency with which you tune to that will show up on the TV. That's simultaneous multidimensional. And we are certainly simultaneous multidimensional beings living in the present moment. And what a shaman does is use all connections with nature. We are a part of nature. Quantum physics now it goes down to the Planck scale, named after Dr. Planck, who's a, who's a doctor 
in quantum physics and he sees at the quantum level the Planck scale is the bottom level that we can connect with at this point. That doesn't mean there's more. This is the, what we got to now. And at that level, it's called also the Planck scale. It's also considered the unified field, where everything is connected. Nature, the fundamental structure of nature in all forms, humans, planets, it's all unified field, the Planck scale. And that's where we connect at it. And that's what we want to do to align beings to be able to function at that level connecting with nature. What we're going to do uh, in a few minutes is leave my uh, little studio here, my, well, my uh, place of work, and go to the beach and honor the sunset. I will do that with a conch shell, which is certainly a part of nature, and everything is. And it's utilizing all aspects of nature. I will be honoring when the sun sets, which is another one we talk about truth. Actually, the sun does not set. The sun is uh, doing what it does, traveling at the speeds it does. What we're experiencing in actuality is our rotation. We are rotating and make one revolution takes 24 hours, about 24 hours is a day. That's us on our axis rotating or spinning around. So the sun is not technically setting at all, it's that we're rotating around to, so it seems like that's what's happening. This is what I mean about getting to the truth. And that's what we're going to be uh, focusing on, on, on in this show, is connecting you with what is. So as we go to the beach, we're going to watch the sun as it seems to appear going down, which it doesn't do that. We're rotating. And we honor that in all of nature. People like come up to me quite regularly and say, oh, are you honoring, are you worshiping the sun? And I go, actually, I'm worshiping all of nature in all ways and forms and connecting with it. It gives us all the signs we need to know of what's happening right now. There was a few years ago I was out on the beach. I lived on Siesta Key, and there was a, a hurricane coming. And it caused terror throughout the, the island. They evacuated the island, mandatory evacuation. I chose to stay. Went out on the beach that morning and realized there was no going to be no hurricane because all the elements told me so. There were birds, there were squirrels, there was dolphins. And if that's happening, the, the, the animals and the fish know what's going on and they wouldn't be there. So I knew it wasn't coming. And sure enough, Hurricane Charlie landed, I think it was about, about 40 minutes south of us, and it never affected us. That's what I mean about connecting with the elements of nature. Uh, if, as the sun, before the sun sets though, and I blow the conch shell, what I'll be doing is what I consider to be spirit chi. It's a combination of ancient Chinese martial arts and Native American. Uh, spirit is the Native American term for God, God is to all that is universal energy. In uh, Chinese, it's called qi. Qi is the universal life force within us that functions throughout the cosmos. So I call it spirit qi. And it's a movement, I call it, a, I consider it a meditation in motion. And it certainly helps to me align and connect with all that is all the time. Thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you on a regular basis. We'll be doing a weekly show here on uh, seemybeach.com. Thank you, bless you, and be well.
Thank you for joining me. This is the end of the first show, and we'll certainly be looking forward to seeing you on a regular basis. This is about connecting all of us at the unified level, field level of oneness, sharing everything we have to gift everybody with blessings and connecting with the oneness that you are, incorporating all of nature. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you on a regular basis on seemybeach.com. Bless you and be well.